This tutorial runs through how to use the history match plot in TechPlot RS. When running multiple simulation runs, you may want a way to determine which simulation best matches the history data. Today, we have ways in which to obtain the qualitative comparisons. The history match plot in TechPlot RS gives one the ability to compare data sets in a quantitative manner. To use the history match plot type, after you've loaded in your XY data, choose the history match from the plot type menu in the sidebar. There are two different ways in which to compare your data sets. In multi-well mode, you can see how the comparison data differs from the history data for a specific date, well by well. In one well mode, RS shows you how the comparison data differs from the history data throughout time for one well. I'm going to demonstrate how to use this functionality in the one well mode. We are seeing three different frames showing three different comparisons. First we have the raw data, then the deviation data, and to the right the deviation distribution. The red line represents the baseline set, which is typically the history data. The blue and green lines represent the comparison data sets. To briefly summarize the plots, the raw data plot is your standard plot with all three data sets on one graph. The deviation data plot shows the difference between the baseline and the comparison data sets. From the deviation distribution plot, we could read that all the points from the second data set deviate negatively from the baseline and that all the points from the third data set deviate positively from the baseline. On the left hand side we have controls on which well we want to view as well as which variables we want to look at. I'm going to keep it on the default for this example. You have the ability to compare against multiple data sets. To highlight multiple files, simply press the shift and the left mouse button and highlight the desired data sets. Finally, you could set a desired deviation band, which is the maximum error that we want to allow when the loaded data set is compared against the baseline. For example, let's set a deviation band of 30. We are now determining what percentage of points for the specific well are plus or minus 30 stock tank barrels from the baseline. We could see that 35% of the points of the third data set and 55% of the points of the second data set lie within that range. To get rid of the deviation band, simply press 0 in the box and press enter. You could also normalize the distribution. This tool gives you a way to quantify your history match results. 